Hello guys, welcome back to Ses LTD Deals. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel and also turn on the bell icon so that you never miss any of our uploads. I'm back with another review and this time I'm going to review Ila Cloud. So Ila Cloud is a dev tool that lets you create your own internal tools and you can even publish or deploy those tools very easily. Ila Cloud is a fully open source and it is also low code platform which means you do not have to be an expert in coding to use this tool. And perhaps the best part about this tool is that it is powered by an AI. As a result, you can give some commands to the AI using your preferred language such as English. So you can write some commands in plain English and Ila Cloud is going to work exactly according to your command and generate SQL for you. And a great news is Ila Cloud is currently available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. So the regular pricing is $240 but at AppSumo you are getting it at only $39. And this is a one time payment which means you are paying this $39 for one time and you are getting lifetime access to Ila Cloud. So if you want to buy the lifetime deal of Ila Cloud right now make sure you check the link in the description below. These are the features you are going to get with this Ila Cloud lifetime deal and these are some of the tiers that you can buy. The tier 1 is going to cost $39 and 2 people can use this which means 2 editors and then there is the tier 2 with a cost of $79 and 5 editors limit and tier 3 cost $169 with 25 editor limit. The highest tier is tier 4 with a cost of $299 and 50 editors. Now let's go to the Ila Clouds website and check out some of their features. So as you can see you can beautify UI in minutes, you can generate SQL with AI, you can collaborate with your team in real time, you can connect to any data source and there are many sources. I am going to get to that in a bit. And there are some other features such as you can extend components with JavaScript, there are also reusable code blocks. And you might be wondering what are the integration options available with Ila Cloud. Let me show you them. So for the database, these are the integrations and there are some very popular names such as MySQL. There are also some API integrations such as these ones. There are also many components because without component, a tool, a dev tool like Ila Cloud is never complete. So let me show you those components. So as you can see, this is the page where you can see all of the input components, upload, switch, select, radio group, checkbox group, and there are data components, presentation components. If you want to buy Ila Cloud on a subscription plan, you can also do that. As you can see, these are the subscription plans monthly, and you can also get the yearly plans. So after you log into Ila Cloud, you will get this dashboard and the dashboard is super user friendly. I have to say that. And after you log in, you won't get this page because first you have to create a workspace. As you can see, I have already created one. So once you create a workspace, you are going to get two options. One is the Ila Builder and another is the Ila Drive. And if you want to add your team members and collaborate with them in real time, which is one of the top features of Ila Cloud, you have to invite your team members using this invite option. Now let's go to the Ila Drive first. So Ila Drive is basically similar to Google Drive, which means you have to save all of your files, the files that are needed to build your internal tools. Those files are going to be stored in here and you have to upload them using this upload section. You can also create different folders to organize your files in a more effective way. And you can see the capacity and usage on this page. Now let's go back to the dashboard. So now to start building your tools or your apps, you have to click on this Ila Builder. As you can see, I have two apps already. So to create another app, I have to click on this create new button. And there are also two other options, two other tabs on here, such as the resources. So as you can see, this is the onboarding DB resource. And then you can also see the tutorial. As for the tutorial, there is the onboarding tutorial. And there are also some templates already given. So if you want to make a dashboard or a survey or if you want to make the admin panel, build the admin panel, you can do that from here. Using these templates, it is going to save a lot of your time. Now let's go back to the apps and let's create one by clicking on this. So as you can see, the app editor has opened. You can see the pages, the amount of components that you have used, the models and also the actions and also the globals. And to add an action, you have to click on this new button. Then you can add an action from this database list or the API or even the JavaScript transformer. And on the right side, you will get access to all of the components such as these are the commonly components. And then there are the inputs, select inputs, calendar inputs, data, container and form, navigation, presentation. So as you can see, there are a lot of components 
and I think no matter what type of things you are trying to build such as if you are trying to create a form or a dashboard or an admin panel or a login page you are going to get all of those components in here for example let's import this table and you have to do that by dragging this table here so you have to position this table perfectly let's keep it in this middle so as you can see our table has been imported as a component now you can also increase the size if you want and once you add a component you are going to get the inspect page that has all the controls of this table or this component so this is the table and this table's data source is this one as you can see if you want you can edit the data source directly from here and then there is the empty state the loading if you want to turn it on then there are the columns so you can add a new column if you want so just see how easy it is to build your own app then you can sort by the column then there are the user selections pagination options toolbars different types of and also the interaction so for advanced customization ila cloud has all the options that you need then you can go to the page and you can change some page settings such as the width preset the left panel right panel body header footer and all that and since we have added a component called table as you can see now on this component section one table is here and one page is here so you can also add another page so as you can see this is the page 2 this is the page 1 and you can change the page settings on here as i have said earlier then let's add another component from insert so i want to add a chart let's drag it so the chart is going to be on this right side so as you can see i have added another component which is chart and once again we are back to the inspect section so here as i have said earlier you can make all the changes you need to customize this data set or the chart here is your data source the chart type you can change the x axis value you can group by there's the data sets tool chip title x axis and y axis name and there is a very cool feature if you want to duplicate you can also do that by clicking on these three dots and then you have to click on duplicate and then you can also preview it so let's preview so as you can see this is the table and on the right side we have our chart and i really like that they also have added different types of views such as this the desktop view the mobile view the square view and you can also change the width and height here if you want so let's exit this preview and once your app is fully created when you want to deploy it finally you have to click on deploy and just have a look at this how powerful and fast it is it has already been deployed so ila cloud is undoubtedly an amazing tool so overall i think ila cloud is definitely a worth buy if you are a developer and as a developer you may already know a lot of about coding but to save time you can use ila cloud that has almost everything that you need to build different types of internal tools it is also open source which is a great feature and on the other hand if you are a beginner ila cloud is going to be super useful to you it is low code which means you do not have to have advanced coding knowledge and the ai is also going to help you build your own internal tools or apps so if you want to buy ila cloud on a lifetime deal make sure you check the link in the description below these are the features that you are going to get with this lifetime deal of ila cloud and these are some of the tiers that you can buy from appsumo so that's it for our today's video i hope you have found the video to be helpful if you do make sure to subscribe to our channel i will see you in the next one till then stay safe goodbye